giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archived FIRST Robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Good evening, everybody. Week four is in the books, and it was a good one. Two number one seeds with over a 3.0 RP average. Only one first seeded alliance winning an event this week in Michigan. We had three finalist alliances coming from the bottom of the bracket, and we had the first event in FRC this year with an eighth seed winning the entire event. Sorry about that, Mike. We'll also be previewing four absolutely stacked events coming up in Michigan in week five, and also Shepard is an event as well. The best robots from the best region... This is Infimidation. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm PJ. I'm Freddie. I'm Mike. And I'm Sky. Before we jump into recap, Sky, tell us about our giveaway this week. Uh, yeah, just like last week, we have a giveaway from the show thanks to our friends at Redfish Robotics of Fun Logo Mugs. So let's bring on Tyler to talk more about what it is and how you can win. I mean, you guys get to talk about the keyword for how you can win, but... Uh, the, uh, the fun logo mugs, once again, if, uh, if you haven't been watching uh, recently, this is your opportunity uh, to win a pretty cool mug. Uh, go to tinyurl.com forward slash redfish robotics, and that's your opportunity to check out all the cool mugs that they have uh, up on Amazon. Uh, the fun logo mug right now is already sold out, uh, but we do have some spares for a giveaway still. Uh, so, gentlemen, what's the uh, keyword for the uh, giveaway here? The keyword for today is youper. As in someone who lives in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, that is Youper Y O O P E R. Oh, I thought we were gonna make them find out how to spell it. So I'll yeah, I know, but then I felt bad because nobody yeah, knew how to spell it. All right, <laughs> all right, we gotta get going here because we have a lot to get. <laughs> oh yeah. Through. So, <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So Jackson, the Jas Jackson District event had a relatively standard set of playoff matches, with the notable exception of Alliance Number Six upsetting Alliance Number Three in the quarters. After Alliance Number Three had some robot issues and made a mad scramble to get back in it, it was actually kind of close. But the semis saw no additional upsets as a classic 1v2 finals emerged. Alliance Number Two, uh, 1481, the Riveters from Farmington, uh, Team. 4362, the Gems from Brighton, and Team 7501, the Golden Gears from Brooklyn, ended up winning the event. But Alliance number one was composed of 1023 Bedford Express from Temperance, 5202 Full Metal Jackets from Concord, and 5688 Robocats from Pittsburgh. Contrary to what we are accustomed to, the number one alliance, as I said, came out strong and managed to snag finals number one. Finals number two is really where the drama happened, with 1481, the Riveters, proving to be slightly more consistent in Sandstorm than their opposite counterpart, uh, 1023 Bedford Express. The number one alliance managed to employ a relatively standard two offense, one defensive strategy, whereas the number two alliance went all in on the offense. 5688 on alliance number one played such a grace, aggressive defense that partway through finals two, they managed to tip themselves a lot over, allowing alliance number two to claw their way back into a match that was starting to slip away from them a little bit. Alliance number two managed to secure that second win, taking the event in uh, two matches. Uh, 30 or er, Chairman's was taken by team 302, the Dragons. Engineering Inspiration was 1481, the Riveters. Can't talk enough about them at this event, apparently. And Rookie All-Star was 7501, the Golden Gears. Take that's it like, away, PJ. Hey, real yeah, quick, so is, is this the is this from Robox Game Day, a new thing, like this overlay they have? You need, like, a microscope to see this. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, look at this down, down here on the bottom. <laughs> like, good luck if you're watching this on a phone. <laughs> Jesus. All right, sorry. <laughs> All right. So, uh, up in Midland, we had a pretty interesting event. Um... A lot of upsets in that one. Our winners were actually the six-seeded alliance of 5509 Like a Boss from Midland, 3770 Blitz Creek also from Midland, and 3414 The Hackbots from Farmington. Finalist was Alliance 5 
5166, The Fabricators from Freeland. 5424, Rogue Robots from Midland. And 5517, The Engineers on Fire from Burton. Uh, this, their versatility or lack thereof is what killed the number one alliance and a couple of the other top seeded alliances at this event. 5046, The Jacked Up Jacket, seated first. And they were a decent hatch and cargo bot. Uh, they picked a hatch only bot in 5712, Hemlock's Gray Matter. And then for their third robot in the background, they picked a robot with no ability to score game pieces. It was just a pure defense robot. Uh, so this locked them into basically the same game plan in each match. Like, Hemlock would score hatches, Memphis would put cargo behind them, and their third robot would go play defense. However, this got them out of, this got them out of quarters, um, unlike another number one seed. But... The fifth alliance exploited this in semis uh, because they were able to switch rogue robots between offense and defense between matches or during the match. So they were able to keep their scoring up and then come over and slow down the other alliance. So this really killed the sixth seed alliance, the first seed alliance. Sorry, uh, alliance six ran a very similar strategy. Uh, actually, fifty five oh nine, the alliance captain played defense for most of the matches while Blitzkrieg and Hackbots did all the scoring. So uh, it was very very good set of finals matches. Chairman's went to 5216, Evil Empire, Essexville from Essexville, the first ever Chairman's Award. EI went to 5712, Hemlock's Gray Matter from Hemlock. Rookie All Star was 7784, the Vassar Voltage from Bay City. And this is the first time 2619, the charge leaves their home event without two new medals since 2014. For the last four years, the charge have gotten some combination of Chairman's EI winner and finalists. And this is the first time they leave with no new medals from their home event. So that was an interesting one. So uh, let's kick it over to West Michigan. Freddie, what happened over there? All right, so a little bit about West Michigan. It was a very exciting event, as it usually is. Uh, tied for the longest-running FIM district event. It's been a district since FIM's inception in 2009, and it was a regional many years before that. Uh, unlike other events this week, there were actually no first-round upsets, which is kind of surprising based on how other events went. <laughs> Our finalists, our two finalists. How many times are we going to mention it? Pitted <laughs> the, number so three alliance, <laughs> pitted the number three alliance of 5927 Globetrotters, 2474 Excel, and 5173 Fenville Robohawks against the number one alliance of 2054 Tech Bikes, 3620 Average Joes, and 3458 Code Blue. Uh, interesting fact about finals two, uh, as we've seen with a lot of defense in Michigan, 3458 actually had some trouble getting to the other side of the field, leading them to contact 5173 on the HAB platform with four seconds left in the match, giving the Blue Alliance a level three climb. That given climb and 12 other foul points, also stemming from uh, other defensive offenses throughout the match, uh, are what made the difference, and the Blue Alliance won the match and the event. So congratulations to those, uh, the third alliance. In terms of awards, our chairmans went to 5567 Code Red Robotics out of Milan. Our engineering inspiration went to 3620, uh, giving them a double silver cling bling. So congrats, congrats to them. And our rookie all-star was 7812 Robot Warriors from Iona, Ionia. Uh, now I'm going to send over to Mike to talk about Lincoln. So uh, Lincoln, after surprisingly grueling qualifications matches, uh, Team 5050 Cowtown uh, came out on top and selected 67 the hot team and 5066 Singularity from Saline. Um, they faced off against the number eight alliance, captained by 5853, uh, Fear the Termigators from Ypsilanti. And they got a steal of a pick with uh, 5530, the Green Hills Lawnmowers from Ann Arbor, and, uh, and also picked up 7660, the rookies um, from Ann Arbor, the Biting Irish. Um, so they swept the number one alliance and, and the whole event, 6 and 0 in, in Elims. Um, they gave Hot their first quarterfinals exit since 2013, and these guys love rubbing it in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever do you mean? <laughs> uh, so the number one went undefeated. Uh, they faced off against the number three alliance of uh, the Dreadbots, 3656, um, 6570, White, uh, Whiteford Bobcats from Ottawa Lake, and 5067, Steiner Steel Storm from Ann Arbor. This whole event had a very Newton 2016 feel to me. Um, or there were a bunch of really good teams available on the backside of the draft, and, and the Blue Alliances were really strong. Every quarters, except for 1v8, went to 3, and, uh, and 5 upset 4. Uh, but it really all came down to who ex executed. I think most of those alliances could have gone, could have won, um, just because of, of how deep this event 
actually ended up being. Um, so, but the the three winning alliance teams all won their first banner of ever, so that was really cool and, and well deserved for them. Um, going into culture awards, uh, Cowtown from Carlton got mood when they when they won the chairman's award, which is always an odd experience to see <laughs> because everybody thinks you're booing. Uh, yeah, I went to uh, to Grizzly '66, so congrats on the uh, the culture wombo combo of of chairmans at your first event, EI at the second. Um, and Rookie All-Star went to the only team that was eligible to win it at the event, 79-12, Lex Tech from Novi. Uh, so are we calling it the Culture Wombo Combo now? Is that, uh, that what we're going with? <laughs> That's what I'm going with. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sky, you want to tell us about Alpina? All right. So Alpina. The, <clears throat> the finals came down in the end to 1v3 situation. So we had Alliance number one of 2075 Enigma Robotics from Grand Rapids, Team 2137 Torque from Oxford, and Team 6573, the Allenson Viking Robotics from Allenson. Uh, I will let my co-hosts drool over 2075 later on um, so they can take care of that. Uh, but uh, for the finalists, we had Alliance 3, which was 862 Lighten from Canton, uh, Team... 35, 36, the Elector Eagles from Heartland, and 7171, the Wolverine Wildcats from uh, Wolverine. So both alliances were utilizing two scoring machines and a defensive bot. Uh, furthermore, uh, 2137 from alliance number one and their opposite number, 3536 on alliance number three, had robots that can kind of reach over, kind of light defense being played on them, uh, which meant that kind of that whole defensive strat started to kind of fall apart for both alliances a little bit. Uh, and these were kind of two really matched, well-matched alliances. And it, and it showed as they kind of wrestled. Uh, alliance number three would take the first finals match by a three-point margin. Alliance one would then kind of reorganize and come out and take the second match by a 10-point margin. Uh, and then the third match uh, by a 11-point margin. Uh, all these scores were in the kind of 70s and 80s. Uh, and the number one alliance uh, ended up getting the W uh, from some actually kind of sizable competition. So for chairmans, we have team... 862 Lightning Robotics, uh, getting that Kling Bing silver gold. Uh, engineering Inspiration, we got uh, 6077, uh, Win King Kujan. And Rookie All Star, we've got 7808, the Dragoneers. So, all of these events, we now have to get ourselves into top 10 in FIM. Uh, so let's begin our countdown of the top 10 teams in Michigan from last week's competition, voted on by you, the viewers, uh, in the FRC Top 25 polls. Uh, while we will say if any of these teams finished, well, we won't say where any of these teams finished in kind of the overall Top 25, we will discuss the top 10 vote getters in FIM. So what's everyone's thoughts on this list? Just run through it real quick. We've got uh, 2075 Enigma. 2054 Tech Vikes, 1023 Bedford, 67 Hot, don't know how you got on there, uh, 3620 <laughs> Average Zoes, 1481 Riveters, 4003 Trisonics, 2137 Torque, 862 Lightning, and 3656 Dreadbots. Um, personally, I think 1481 Riveters belong above 1023 Bedford after kind of seeing them go head to head, but that's just me. So Mike, uh, your rebuttal. <laughs> uh, I still think I have more medals for the year than you Sky. So. Oh, shush. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. What, what I'm looking at, what I see is um, I'm really glad 2075 ranked first for those who weren't following. They got, um, they had the highest ranking score that Michigan's seen so far. Uh, they went, they had five rockets completed in qualification matches, most of them by themselves, up in Alpena. Um, 2054 ranking second, also another one. They had an over, they had a 3.33 ranking score at West Michigan, if I believe, uh, if I remember correctly. And so those seem like a pretty solid top two. Overall, definitely um, not as bad as last week. So thanks, y'all, for coming out and voting. <laughs> I see uh, Rich, <laughs> Richard in chat from 3620 believes that they are overrated. Um, but I don't know. I think, I think, I think they deserve to be there. I don't know if anybody else has any thoughts about 3620 or this list as a whole. Uh, I think it's a pretty good list. Like you said, I think it's a lot better than our list last week. So thanks for voting everyone. But, uh, I think 3620 is a little high, uh, late in the playoffs at West Michigan. They did struggle quite a bit in the finals. Um, 
And I think Hot's a couple spots too high. I think there are a lot better options. No offense, Mike. <laughs> So this this list gets weird because you saw so many so many low ranked uh, or low low seated alliances end up doing very well, but but the three combo team you can't you can't vote for three teams in this right so yeah. so nobody's voting for them like that and and so you end up with us who got picked first overall and we're a good robot uh, in in the in the top five there but um, it's it's not necessarily the teams that are winning that end up in these votes because. You get teams like 5530, who no one outside of Michigan has heard of, and, and half people inside of Michigan haven't heard. Of. They they probably deserve to be in this list for this week, um, and and they're not here. Yeah, and it's it's hard because like you said, it's almost like like at like it, and same with uh, I see the same thing from Midland. None of the mid no no robot from Midland is in the top ten at all, and it's because none of the of any of the six finalists. I don't think any of them are a top ten robot in the state. But they both of those the num the winning alliance at Midland is one of the best put together alliances I've seen all year. But you can't like you said you can't vote for an alliance. Yeah, and the number eight at Lincoln is in the same boat, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. All right. So uh, yeah. let's move into some quick previews for next week. Um, I'm gonna cover um, our sort of our sort of black sheep shepherd, the only uh, oh wow of of the week because. <laughs> I mean, there's uh, we've got five teams up there on their third event, including 503 and 862 and uh, 5166 and 5509, all coming off very strong performances at their second events. Uh, nine teams up there are actually making their debut, most notably 7226, who's put out a reveal video. They look uh, like they might might be pretty solid this year. Uh, we've got 3572, who was the rank one finalist at Muskegon. 4004 was the rank one four winner at Muskie. 862 and 5166 are coming off of finalist performances this past week. Um, chairman's favorite is probably going to be 2959, the Robotarians, 3572, and then actually 4819, uh, Flat Mountain Mechanics are my dark horses. So we'll shoot this over to Freddie to talk about Troy. All right. Troy always proves to be a very exciting event. Lots of exciting playoff matches. I'm also going to be there this weekend as an official score. So if you see me there, be sure to say hi. Uh, 245 is on their third district event of the year, which will decrease the pool of district points for those teams trying to make the cut for MSC. Uh, there's going to be a lot of teams that have seen each other already. 17 teams at Troy also competed at Centerline in Week 3. It's usually a strong chairman's competition, but 226 and 2337 both already earned it at their first events. So look out for 68, 9, 10, and 17, 18 as possible chairman's candidates. I'll throw. Uh, I'm going to interrupt you. For, I'm going to throw 245 into that list as well. Oh, uh, of course, yeah. They've been strong the last couple of years, and people are free. Like, for those who don't know or don't know district system, uh, you could still win chairmans, even if it's your third district and you're not earning district points. So 245 is still eligible. Yes, definitely. 245 for sure. Um, in terms of contenders, look for 50, 51, 226, 245, 17, 18, and 2337. Uh, 9, 10, and 35, 39 competed together at centerline, but they had a tough quarterfinal exit. So we'll see if they can return to form this weekend. Uh, now I'm going to send it over to Mike to talk about Alpina 2. So Alpina's t Alpina 2 is a little interesting because it's not full yet. So there's still five spots available. If you want a third play, it might not be too late. Um, if I, I think it's fair to say everyone expects the, the bees and the Robo Jackets to pair up and, and take gold here. Um, but there's there's probably – and I'm kind of hoping a Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln situation happens, but who knows. Uh, there's a few contenders you got to watch out for. 107 um, from Holland ro Robotics, uh, 2834, the Blackhawks. 4381, the Twisted Devils, and 5530, the Lawnmowers. Um, 5114, Fenton is hungry after two quarterfinal exits, and they might not have enough points for MSC, so this could be them trying to, to soak up some points. Um, seven teams are doing their, their third play, most of which I've mentioned already. Um, and then two teams debuting in FIM, one of them who's already played out of state. Uh, PJ would kill me if I didn't mention uh, 5702, Robotawatomi. Uh, one of his favorite teams. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Twisted Devils, 4381, is probably the chairman's favorite, but it also could go to 5505 or 6077. Um, and then 33 and 5216 both have chairman's awards already, but they could be in contention for EI there. Uh, PJ, you want to cover Marysville? Yeah, I don't want OG Nick getting any more medals, so no <laughs> so no EI. For, we don't need him flexing in, the, in next week's show. Okay. Uh, Marysville quickly. We've got three teams debuting. Um, the sort of the theme of Maryville is Marysville is storylines of redemption. 
70 is looking for a serious bounce back after not even making elims at their first event. They're going to need some serious points. Um, they might not be able to make it to MSC even with a perfect event. Uh, 217 has two quarterfinal exits this year at Kettering 2 and the Finger Lakes Regional. They're looking to improve, uh, potentially looking to pair up with Chimeras for the third year in a row at Marysville with a finalist and a winner's medal. Um, they might be going for another one. 302 won down in Miami Valley, but were bounced in quarterfinals at Jackson this past week. Uh, Green Juniors had a disappointing quarterfinals exit at St. Joe. A uh, couple of teams with more successful uh, first events, 494 and 3667, one Kettering, two together, and will be uh, reunited at this event. Crevolution was a finalist at centerline. Uh, rookie Sensation, 7491, the Cyber Soldiers, uh, who were rank eight finalists and got a robot award at Kettering, one will also be there for their second event. Chairman's looks to be like competition between 1189, 2604, and 3667. Uh, my personal pick is definitely uh, Mechanum Knight slash the Poho Robos for that award. So, Sky, lead us into probably the most competitive event in all of FIM this year. Yeah, so Detroit Einstein is absolutely loaded. Um, and by that, I mean East Kentwood. Uh, so we have lots of high-profile teams, event winners, and high-profile event winners. Um, and there is a just absolute pile of teams vying for the top eight. Uh, most of these teams have, have, of course, played before. Uh, and the line selection is going to be drama enough, let alone the actual uh, limbs matches. Um, if you want to chime in and chat here and make your guess on who will come out and, on top. Uh, but uh, we have Team 27 Rush, 67 Hot, uh, 1918 NC Gears, 2054 Tech Vikes, 2767 Strike Force, 4362 The Gems, 4855 Ramageddon, 5460 Strike Zone, Important distinction. Uh, and uh, 6090 Wayland Wildcats. We've also got some other teams that could make a pretty big splash, like 56, 75, 2088, or sorry, 288, and uh, 4967. As far as chairman's goes, this event isn't nearly as deep as the robot competition, but the favorite of this has to go to uh, 2771 Code Red with uh, 4967, that one team, having a good look as well. Uh, others that have had some good luck in the past, like uh, 3875 Red Storm and 4327 Q Branch. But the field isn't nearly as deep as that of the robots, so we might see a new team kind of push onto this list and some uh, drama for EI. Um, I have an overly bold prediction here. We're going to see 27... 27, 67, and 67 in that order on the schedule, on the same alliance at some point, and it's going to be a very satisfying and symmetric team list on that schedule to look at. Uh, I will bet you a hat that we are not a second round pick. <laughs> I think he's talking Qualls match. No, no, but I, it, it, it is Qualls match, but I'm not going to take that bet because that makes me <laughs> relying on the FMS, and if I've learned anything, you do not rely on the FMS. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have some swag uh, to change hands here. So, uh, Tyler, can we get uh, get that drawing? Yep, we're going to do the... Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we're going to do the drawing. I'm trying to eat my dinner here. No. Uh, so, uh, we're going to do the uh, drawing for once again for the awesome mugs. Uh, thanks again to Redfish Robotics. Check them out at tinyurl.com forward slash Redfish Robotics. And the winner, uh, you got to type in Uper, is going to be uh, Alexosity, A L E X O S I T Y. So, congratulations. Uh, if you won the fun mug, please reach out to First Updates now, either on Twitch or our Discord, uh, with your mailing information, and uh, we will get that out to you. And thanks again to Redfish for Robotics for all their support. And go check them out. Thanks, everybody. All right, we're going to have to stop there and wrap the show up. Thank you to everyone who's watched, sent us questions and comments, and supported the show. If you want more First Robotics in your life and like what we do, all that we ask is that you let others know about this show and that this is the place to go for more FRC in their lives. If you've got a few bucks to share, we appreciate it. But if not, we totally understand and are delighted to have you on board. Be sure to click the little green follow button above and click the purple sub button to see if maybe you have a free Twitch Prime sub available. On behalf of myself, Mike, Freddie, Sky, and our producer, Tyler, I would like to thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all of our moderators and chat. Our next show is Mouth of the South, coming up in just a few minutes because we're running over time. We'll, <laughs> we'll be here, same time, same place, next Monday for the recap of Troy, Marysville, Kentwood, Shepherd, and Alpena 2. Good night. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.